Hello everybody and welcome to another detective video. Uh, this is Jose Jaramillo. I am the data management specialist here at Cat Micro Solution. And today we're going to be talking about the PDM license server configuration. While uh, the, configuration, the configuration of the server is not hard at all, um, there are some different behaviors that we can, um, that we can set up when we are working with our PDM. Um, <clears throat> essentially, I'm going to show you three different scenarios and I'm going to try to explain why sometimes the behavior that we're seeing is not the same behavior we can, um, we, we are expecting. So the first scenario that we're gonna look at is the typical scenario where we have our PDM client, we have our PDM server, and within that server, we have a license server where uh, all, all our um, PDM licenses are stored in. And essentially the configuration, um, the license node in the administration tool for, um, for licenses, it's going to show, or it's going to contain the license server. So the, the, this is the name of my license server. <clears throat> so this is the typical scenario that, that it's in most of the time the one we use. Uh, essentially, what this is going to have to allow us to do is, when the client tries to connect to the PDM vault, it's going to try to connect to the license server, and if the the, the licenses are available, then la the license is going to be returned to the client. The client is going to be able to check that out, and it's going to let it log in into the vault. So that's the simple scenario that we normally have. But also we can have a different scenario where we have our PDM client and we have our PDM server with a license server running on it. And in addition to that, we have a second license server somewhere else that I am going to add to my PDM uh, configuration. So essentially what this is going to let me do is it's going to, allow me to add both license servers on the client, well, on the PDM administration, and the client is going to first try to check out licenses from this server, and if for any reason that's not an option, then it's going to try to connect to license server number two, and it's going to try to get the license from there. The only downside of this configuration is that if the license server the first license server is not able to respond with uh, with, the, with any kind of message like no license available. Then the timeout it's going to um, is going to have the client wait until uh, a set amount of time passes to then try or or make the attempt for license server number two. But essentially, both license servers at this point. Are, um, are aggregating the amount of licenses and on the client side, it's completely transparent. So what this is going to happen is the client is going to try to check out the license from, from, from this license server and it's going to go back and it's going to be able to check out that license if it's available. Um, <clears throat> but also it's going to be able to connect to that license server number two and check out the license um, directly just as if the license server uh, where was in the same location as the PDM server. So that's the second scenario. Now let's talk about the third scenario. This scenario is a little bit more complex than the other two. Um, for this case, we're going to have a PDM client. We're going to have our regular PDM server with our license server. And in our server list, in the um, PDM license node, we're going to have the license server configured as our primary license server. But also, we're going to have our um, client uh, license manager installed in that machine as well. And that SNL is going to contain a license server number two where um, we have some additional PDM licenses. And that license server number two is not necessarily in the same PDM server. It may be somewhere else. Um, within or outside our network. So the behavior that, it, the, that we would expect is that if this PDM client tries to connect to that license server, 
and there are no licenses available, then, well, since PDM license server is just that server, um, then we should get an error and say, hey, you don't have any licenses. But actually, what is going to happen in that situation is that the SNL, it's going to, con to contact the license server number two, and it's going to try to check out the license as well. So the license that it's being checked out, it's going to go back to the client, and it's going to allow us, allow us access into the vault. So this is a behavior that we sometimes uh, get when we are trying to check out licenses. And um, we don't have licenses available, but we, we are still able to connect. Or maybe we have licenses available, but we don't see them um, being checked out by that client that is connected. So the, that may mean that the SNL client, it's also handling the connection to a different server. And maybe that server, it's already checking out the license. And that can be a little bit confusing. Now, let's have a look at how to configure the license node in the PDM administration tool. So once we are in our uh, administration tool and we're logged in into our vault, there is a node where we can open uh, the license server management. So if, if I double click there, then this is going to bring uh, the license list of servers that it contains the licenses for the clients to connect automatically. So one of the things that we can do is we can add a server. So let me just add this server here. Say OK. And now you can see that we have two servers. So this means that the first attempt is going to be made to local host. And then afterwards, if for any reason there's, there's no licenses or there's a, not a response, then the client is going to try to, con to contact this other server, and it's going to try to get the license from there. Also, we have um, some tabs here. So the second tab is the license usage tab, uh, which is essentially the same one we can find in our uh, license server. We can see uh, total licenses and free licenses and who's using a license. Also note that here in the server list, we can remove all of the license servers. And essentially, if I do this, I am going to be working with uh, scenario number. Now, finally, I just want to go to our uh, license client manager. And what I'm going to do here is going to add the new server. And essentially, it's going to work exactly the same way. Uh, so licenses are going to be uh, checked out from localhost first. And then the attempt to go to the Milky Way is going, going to try to check out licenses from there if it doesn't work. So this is essentially how do you add and remove and how licensing work within PDM. Um, we are going to be covering more uh, in detail how you can have different levels of uh, licenses in different servers in a different video. Um, but the most important part of this video was to show the basics on the logic behind um, the licensing servers that with PDM and the SNL separately. Well, that'd be all for today. Thank you so much for joining and see you in the next tech tip video.